say thank you to the Master of Ceremony to give me opportunity to stand here. And I say thank you to you all because you can be participate at this event, uh, Microtech User Meeting 2019 in Myanmar. Okay, in this opportunity, I will talk to you about simple, secure, and satisfied. How to create our network like this. Okay. Uh, the first is introduction. My name is Muhammad Aswia Siddiqui and I'm from Indonesia. And I'm a student at IDN Vocational High School. And a little introduction for IDN Vocational High School. High school. IDN Vocational High School is the place to learn about various knowledge, uh, especially for information technology, such as networking and programming. And we learn about microtic. And for programming class, we learn about programming language, Java, Kotlin, and Swift programming language. OK, this is a gallery of IDN Vocational High School and our activities every year. And what we will talk about. I will tell you uh, how to make a sample configuration and we have to avoid some things and other solution, tips to secure a network, tip basic to secure your router, kind of malware and how to prevent it. Okay, sometime when we want to make a secure network, we are certainly confused because if you want to be safe, the tool must be expensive. And the configuration is difficult, so that our work isn't optimal. And finally, we aren't satisfied with our decision to buy the expensive tool. And so, what is solution? I think Microtik can solve your problem. Because Microtik is very friendly. The mean is you don't use a lot of your money to buy expensive tool. And also, Microtik router can we configure with simple configuration and handling, and we can configure it easily, even though it's a beginner. I also a beginner. And one of advantage of Microtik is also easy to handle, and also Microtik have a lot of feature, and Microtik is also commonly used in Indonesian schools, and can be said to very commonly used. We'll start how to create a simple network. The first, I will give you a comparison. Choose a device according to your need. This is the comparison between two devices. Uh, both of them is nine series of Microtik and have a different feature and port. I'm sorry. We have to compare it between two devices. Which one more good and we use in school or company or home? We see the RB951 have uh, five ports and support to gigabit Ethernet. And gigabit can carry data till 1,000 megabit per second. And we have to compare it. OK, the next is be careful with this thing. One of the things we must avoid it is not configure the firewall on our router. The firewall is very important in our network security, because firewall are like a cord that allow or doesn't allow a packet into the router or access the router. We can also see the firewall is above. Uh, we can also see the firewall is above. Um, make sure to configure firewall properly. Firewall function as a traffic control. And also firewall can authenticate access to network access.
Okay, next. Make sure each person have their own user to the router. Don't give access to anyone because this can be bad thing of our router. Before we give access to person, we have to know who has the right to access the router. And if we give people access, we must know whether it has a full mode or write mode or write mode. And build a network monitoring system. The stability of the router, we must check the condition of our network from the device, such as a router or switch, and also monitor the cable connection that are connected to between devices, and also monitor the traffic that is run by the router, and also the stability of the bandwidth. And this is after no cure. In uh, it is a very, very often a cure. The picture above is an example of some rooms that have been configured with the correct prefix. Room A requires 200 hosts. We use the prefix 24. And room, room B requires 100 hosts. Then we use the prefix 25. And room C requires 500 hosts. We use prefix 23. Don't think room A requires to, uh, 200 hosts and you think that it's better than use the prefix 23. And this is the other solution to solve our problem quickly and fastly. Okay, the network automation has been explained the presenter before me. And it's so simple. It can solve our problems fastly. Even we have, firstly, we have to make a script. It's more hard, hard to make a script, but it's simple. After you make a script, it will, 100 router can be solved. Okay, the first introduction to network automation. Network automation is a methodology in which software automatically configure, provision, manage, and test network devices. This is the benefits of network automation. The benefits of network automation are very beneficial because with network automation, it can improve efficiency. Meaning, for example, if you have 100 clients and you configure them one by one, surely is very inefficient. If the configuration of all routers is the same, such as the firewall or other, uh, same configuration, will better if we use a network automation. And we will talk a little about network security and tip to secure our network. Before going to talk some tips, uh, before we going to talk some tips, to secure our router, we have to know what is security. Security is meaning is trust. And I ask you, what's your feel when you walk or go out with your bodyguard? Of course, you will feel secure. Therefore, every people in the world will feel secure when they trust to someone. If you trust to Mikrotik as a secure router, you will get according your need. Uh, some tips to secure your router. Uh, the first is disable port that was never used. In Microtech have a lot of services such as API, APSSL, FTP, and other. But I'm sure if you use it only at home, you never use it all. But if you use it in the big company, I'm sure you need it all. And what should we do? Disable port that was never used. Example, you always use Winbox to access your router, and you have to disable a service WW because you never use Webfig to access your router. And disable network discovery. Perhaps attacking not always come to the internet, because if we have blocked anything by a firewall, 
or blocking something else by rule which we made it in the router, all of it should be safe and nothing attacking. But if you have to do it to do all of it and they're still attacking, check your neckboard discovery. Probably attacking come from LAN. And keeping your router up to date. Another way to prevent undesirable things is to update the version of your router. Why? Because if you use the old version of the operating system, you will get the old security too. Because every vendor in the world will update its feature from time to time. Because after there are cases that can't be resolved by the old version. And lodging in Microtech. Loading is a microtech feature for recording what's happened in our router. We can see it by loading. This feature is often used and also sometimes accidentally forget to set it up. This feature is very important for troubleshooting. And in microtech, there are five modes. Okay, next is we have to know about virus, worm, and DDoS. Oh, the first is virus. A virus is a computer program that can copy or copy itself and spread by inserting copies of itself into other program or document. A motor virus is a parasitic program and a computer that can replicate itself and can also spread to the other computer by inserting itself in a program or data. Usually someone that accidentally move a virus from one computer to another computer. And next is worm. Worm is malware that can activate itself without the help of third parties. It seems like the virus. Uh, that means if the worm has succeeded in entering a computer or computer network, the worm will be able to move to another computer on a network automatically without being able to prevent by other computer owners. Uh, a worm and fire has network and computer to run slowly because worm allows multiple and worm can also de delete computers such as your personal data or company data so don't ever be careless. Third is Trojan. Trojan are programs that are made like programs that are good and useful to computer user. That when installed into a computer can spy on stale data and send keyboard bits to the address specified by the, the author without being noticed by the computer user. And is it danger? Trojan can be said to be dangerous because they can take all the system we can use for a simple like a camera so criminal can spy us from a far distance. And Trojan also make our system corrupt so our data is easy to steal. The third is DDoS. DDoS is distributed denial of service. DDoS is type of attack that carry out about flooding internet network traffic on a server, system, or network. DDoS is very popular attack used by hackers in addition to having many types. And DDoS has have a very simple concept, which makes uh, server traffic run with a heavy load until it can no longer accommodate connection from other user or after a lot, one way is to send requests to the server continuously. And how does it work? The virtual US request flooding is a technique used by flooding network using many requests. And as a result, other registered user can't be served. And traffic flooding is a technique used by flooding network traffic with a lot of data. As a result, other users can be served, changing the system configuration or even damaging. 
is the handling DDoS. We can handle DDoS attack by limiting the connection with the connection limit allowed from an, from an IP address when each connection is safe. Uh, in this configuration, it's explained that if someone wants to scan any ports that are open in our routers, the router will reject it. The attacker try to synchron with TCP and sync but therapeutic mode will reject it and if the attacker try to connect until 10 times, it will write on list. Okay, and the next is ICE <laughs> network. What is certified network? Network rarely gets into trouble. Client will profile with us when our data is safety, when you trust each other. When we get all of condition like the picture above, we must satisfy in our solvers. Everything will run normally if if we finish our job with carefully. Okay, that's all for me. This is my contact. If you want to uh, contact me, we, we we can talk by Facebook or Instagram, and I write my phone number. Okay, and that's all from me. Thank you very much.